Hello, it's Pauline Douglas speaking, and I'm from, as you know, Inner Quest, and I'm talking today about your magnetic personality, how you achieve your magnetic magnetic personality, and probably more importantly, how you don't achieve magnetic personality. Human beings, as we go through life, we're in either in one or two states. We're either in a magnetic state or we're in a repelling state. A repelling state is technically when we're in a state of conflict. When human beings are in conflict, we call upon certain personalities, there's about 10 of them, to help us take charge of a situation that we've just found ourselves in. And I'll give you an example. Uh, money. Money's a big one for this. Say, with my husbands, <laughs> if there was ever any conflict with us, it usually used to be about money. And I love spending money, you know, money is there to be spent. Whereas my husbands, who were much more pragmatic with money, would sort of come up with all the reasons why I shouldn't go and spend my money. And they'd say things like, oh, we've got to pay this and we've got to do that. We've got to... And of course, in the state of conflict, I'd go, well, it's my money. So both parties now are in conflict. So somebody's going to be right. The conversation will escalate to a point where somebody's going to probably end up crying. Does this sound familiar to you? Conflict happens all the time. It's part of life. It's a way we clear air. It's not a bad thing. There are 10 dominating personalities. Just off the top of my head, there's the joker. This is the person who gives you a message through jokes and ticklers. And you sort of feel like they just said something to you that just like, you know, shot you in the head. But of course, so they come back and you say, oh, you can't take a joke, can you? <laughs> then we, we all know about the aggressive person who sort of comes back with a, you know, well, if you don't do what I say, I'll rip your bloody arms off. <laughs> then there's another one. There's the martyr. Okay, the martyr's great. Martyrs are always giving you gifts, giving you gifts, giving you gifts. And then when they come calling in to see, and see how they, their gift is going. And uh, if they want you to do something, because they will eventually want you to do something, they'll come back and remind you of all those gifts they gave you and everything they did for you. So, oh, there's the poor me. Okay, the, this is probably the most powerful. Um, if you don't get what you want, because usually what happens is the uh, an argument will escalate where somebody becomes an aggressor. So, of course, in comes the poor me. <laughs> Gone. That's the winner. That definitely is the winner. Well, you'd think it was the winner. You, there is no winner in conflict. There's no winner in dominative personalities because domination doesn't win. It's negative. It sucks energy. So the magnetic personality is the ability to detach from other people's dominating behavior. So say if somebody was jumping up and down, like, you know, going red in the face, bully, 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 bully. You just don't react. It's very hard to do that. Very, very difficult to do that. But if you can learn how to do it, and you can learn how to do it, and it's simply by changing your own energy and recognizing that there is a dominative practice happening in front of you. Somebody's wanting to take control of you. And it's so you can't uh, just walk away and just ignore them because that actually the ignorer is another one. What needs to happen is your your own energy change. And I talk about using the white energy. White energy is uh, feels like puppies and babies and little bunny rabbits. And, and that feeling that you get when you think about something really cute and adorable is actually the feeling of white energy. And if you can learn to project it, you can change the behavior of the person that's standing in front of you. And it's totally weird, but it really works. So next time somebody starts pulling it on you and you think, oh, here we go. Instead of triggering, instead of coming back with a dominating behavior, just implant a bunny over them and you'll feel yourself go, oh, chuckle, 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 chuckle. And you will completely feel your energy change. And the funny thing about these energies, you've got negative and positive energy. White energy is the purest frequency that we can emit. And, but it's very, very strong. And if somebody's shooting, you know, negative energy at you, you know, jealousy or hate or, you know, anger or annoyance, the weird thing is their energies can't get through to you. And they can feel it as well. 
But if you go into the uh, Inner Quest website and look up uh, a program called Voodoo, Do You Voodoo, you can read all about that and uh, you know, try it on your mates. It's a, it's a great party trick, particularly if you're sober. But there's another one, and it's called the bully. So the bully is not a dominator. And the reason why bullying is different is because it can use any of the dominating tactics, but it's coming from humiliation or revenge or hate and to hurt. And the catchphrase on bullying is the perpetrator is enjoying it. And it's exceptionally evil. There's a new, a new kind of bullying that's occurring. It's a modern day kind of bullying. It's actually cyberbullying. And I'm quite horrified. And they get into groups, groups of bullies, groups of cyber bullies. They're hurting famous people, mostly stars and politicians. And so these are the new, the new type of bullies. So what do I need you to know about bullying? Any form of negative projection, right? Any form of negative feelings or projection is actually going to hurt you more than them. You know, I often talk about uh, blame and the twisted sister revenge. The reason is, say if you take your fist, right? Squeeze it tight like this, like you're really angry, you know? Twist it tight. And leave it like that for a couple of weeks. Oh, maybe a month. If you still have a fist on your hand, I'll be amazed. But see, this is what negative emotions do to our body. We shut down the cellular structure. Let's say you're walking around like a, a block of cement. It's just so full of negativity and hate. So fill your, fill your social media up with lots of beautiful babies and puppies and, and they'll go away, if nothing else. They will go away because they won't be able to stand it. But if it's you who's the bully, please realize that this behavior is hurting you and go and forgive all the people in your life who have hurt you and turn your turn your personality back into a magnetic personality which is devoid of all dominative and bullying tactics cheers